Hey everybody, I am back with a short little tutorial on this cute little cow print tumbler. This is going to be a technique video only, so we won't show any epoxy or anything like that. Just basically the technique on how to do this. So sit back and enjoy, and I hope you come up with some colorful cow print to do for yourself. Let's get started. today's tutorial we are going to work on a, a cow print tumbler so I have and this didn't record I don't know why but I have a 17 ounce just a 17 ounce wine tumbler from the stainless depot and we are just going to drop our alcohol inks onto this raw glitter I used when I glittered the cup, I spray painted it white, and I glittered the cup with, um, I believe it was Diamonds 2.0 from the Glitter Cup, from Glitter Heart Co. Um, so we are just going to drop our ink right onto the raw glitter. Um, I went and sprayed this with um, Two Times Clear from rust -Oleum. So we will get started on this. And the alcohol inks I'm going to use, I'm going with a, a different, a kind of a different color. I'm going to use um, Bailey's from Woody's Goodies. It's kind of a turquoise teal color. And then I'm also going to use Teakwood from Tim Holtz. So I am going to start with my turquoise. And you kind of just want to just drop the ink wherever, wherever you like. So when you, when you drop it, it's going to run. So it's going to go in, in all the directions. When you have glitter on there, it's a little bit easier to control it. Um, but I'm just going to make these, make these little dots all over the cup wherever you want to do it. And that's really all you do, guys. You just drop the alcohol ink onto your cup and just wherever you, wherever you want it. And I'm doing this from a kind of a different angle, so. And you just let it do what it's gonna do. You can make the, the dots as big or as little as you want. You can kind of do any shape that you want. It's really, it, it's really kind of an easy, this is one of the easier cups that, that I've done. And I applied this glitter, by the way, with, um, I sprayed the, I didn't spray, I didn't spray paint the cup. I know I said that, but I did not spray paint the cup. I actually painted the cup with um, Crystal Axe Universal White is what I did. And then I stuck my glitter on with the paint. So, and like I said, you can, you can just decorate these and make them look as big or as little as you want. And you're gonna want little dots and and bigger dots. So and that is really all there is to it. And you just cow print this tumbler up till you're happy. And I'm using the two different colors because I thought it would be kind of cool to, to have kind of a contrast. Now with the brown, I'm kind of just going around the blue. So you want to take, let me see if I can just kind of go around the blue and you can also do this with leopard print um, I'm also putting a few of the bigger bigger brown dots as well as going around the blue
So that's really all you do, guys. It's it's simple simple Simon. This this technique is really easy. Really easy to do. And if you've seen the If you've seen the 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 videos on um, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, any of those, it you'll see the the Fourth of July videos is what I'm talking about, where they're dripping the the red and blue onto the cup. So this this is same. Same type of technique. So, like I said, you just go until you just go until you're you're happy with it. And if you do want to drop maybe a few little dots here and there, just to make it look like real. Like real cow print. So that's basically it. That took me what five minutes to do. That's our cow print tumbler. So you're just going to put a, a layer or two of epoxy on this, sand it, and then there's the bottom. And that's really it. That spot right there I'm not happy with, so I'll go over and do it again. But that's really all there is to it. So I'll show a picture of the final cup at the end of this video. And like I said, that's that's really all there is to it. You can use any colors you want. You can... I mean, it, imagination is the key for this one. I just chose turquoise and, and brown because it's my favorite. So, but I'm going to uh, put this on my turner back here from Bama Cups. And I will get it epoxied and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Hey guys, this is what we ended up with. I had to end up putting two coats of epoxy on this. I epoxied it once went and sanded it and then threw another coat of epoxy on there and this is what we ended up with so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you can uh, go out and do your own with your own colors if you do make sure you let me know tag me on facebook um in my facebook group uh, or just tag me in the comments below and i will also list everything that we used as far as alcohol inks and all that good stuff down in the description so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you next time bye